What's up guys? Today's video, we are going to Wendy's to try their new ghost pepper chicken sandwich. They also have some ghost pepper fries. You guys know I love my spice, so I had to go to Wendy's and try this new food out. So let me read you guys the blurb on their website because it kind of cracks me up. So that's the sandwich. No offense, but it's our legendary spicy chicken plus three flaming layers of ghost pepper heat, ghost pepper American cheese, ghost pepper crispy fried onions and ghost pepper ranch so maybe sit this one out unless you really think you can handle it and if that's the case throw in some ghost pepper fries too come on don't be chicken eat it sassy wendy's wendy's is being very sassy so i'm gonna of course take on the challenge honestly i don't think it's gonna be that spicy i mean maybe We'll see the ghost pepper fries. We'll see. I'll let you guys know exactly how spicy it is, but I will see you guys over at Wendy's. All right, you guys, we are at Wendy's. They have their ghost pepper ranch sign out, so you know they are ready to sell this thing, and I'm ready to buy this thing. <laughs> and I'm also gonna get a lemonade, because I did not get a lemonade last time I was here. Hi, welcome to Wendy's. What can I get for you? Hi, could I do the ghost pepper ranch chicken sandwich? All right. And could I do that with the ghost pepper fries as well? Okay, would you like that sandwich spicy or plastic? Spicy. Got it. All and then um, I'll also take a small blueberry pomegranate lemonade. All right. And then could I also get a, uh, do you guys have five piece chicken nuggets or is it six piece? We have four pieces. Six piece. Okay, I'll do a six piece chicken nuggets. Alright, and what's the sauce for that? Can I do the ghost pepper sauce? Alright, anything else for you? No, I think that's gonna be it. Alright, 1555. Okay, thank you. I'm so excited about this tea, not tea, lemonade. Cause last time I came to Wendy's, I had a sore throat. You guys remember that video? Yeah, I had a sore throat, so I did not get their lemonade. And I've kind of been craving Wendy's lemonade ever since. So today's the perfect day to get a lemonade as well. It is, I think 75 degrees outside, hold on. Yeah, 75 degrees. It is super warm. Whenever I was coming here, I saw so many people walking outside because to get to this Wendy's, you have to pass by this big park and it has this walking trail. There was so many people out and I'm like, oh, whenever I get home, I'm taking Mello out on a long walk and we are going to enjoy this beautiful, lovely, sunny day. Hey, how's it going? Thank you. This looks so good. I'm gonna have to give it a good stir, but it's like an ombre drink. Wow. Here you go. Thank you. you like okay, he didn't give me a receipt, but I think it was like $15 total for all this, which isn't bad. Here you go. Thanks. You like and that? the um, ghost poppers. Yeah, it, okay. I just wanted to make sure. Thank you. Have a yeah. good day. All right, you guys, Wendy's bag has been secured. So I think I'm gonna go, should I go back to my apartment? Cause I feel like the lighting is never good over here, but I don't know. Okay, let me try to find parking somewhere and then you guys already know, we're gonna dive into this food. All right, you guys, we are now parked. Here is our Wendy's bag. Let's see what we got okay so i wanted to make sure i got my ghost pepper ranch luckily it was at the top so i could easily see it we got our chicken nuggets i decided to get chicken nuggets because i wanted to get the ghost pepper ranch since everything else is ghost pepper in this video i figured you know what let's just try all their ghost pepper items so there's our chicken nuggets got some napkins our straw for our drink which i guess we can go ahead and try that i like the way this drink looks i've never tried the blueberry pomegranate one i don't think i have at least so this one's really good and it's not too sweet because usually wendy's lemonades they're a little sweet but this one is perfect it's pretty tart though. So if you don't like tart flavors, maybe try one of their others. Okay, we got the ghost pepper 
ranch chicken sandwich. I am so excited to try that. And then the ghost pepper fries. Ooh, these look so good. They kind of remind me of the garlic ones that they had. I'm really hoping that all this food is actually spicy because all these fast food restaurants always claim that it's so spicy. But if you actually have a high spice tolerance, usually it's not that spicy. So you know, they got to really up their game here because people nowadays have some high tolerances. Okay, here's the fries up close. They definitely have this kind of orange tint to it. So, I mean, looks hot. It doesn't smell hot. They actually kind of have a sweet smell to them. So that's kind of interesting. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> that actually looks really good. Oh man, look at that wow also does not smell spicy but it smells really delicious mmm we'll see if it tastes good okay so the first thing we're gonna try is the french fries and the chicken nuggets which I've had before but we're gonna work our way up to the sandwich so let's go ahead and try these ghost pepper fries mmm Okay, so far, flavor is good. They're kind of garlicky, but they also have another flavor. I can't quite identify. They have a little kick to them, but definitely not anything crazy. Now, dipped in that ghost pepper ranch, that ghost pepper ranch does have some heat to it. Mm. Yeah, I would say these are kind of garlicky, but also kind of parmesan-y in a way. Hmm. Okay, heat level on the fries, I'm gonna give maybe like a three or a four, but once you dip it in the ghost pepper ranch, it brings it up to like a five or six. Their ghost pepper ranch, that is one of the best sauces. One of the best sauces out there that's not like a traditional sauce like your barbecue your sweet and sour like it's out of the norm so good okay let's get one of our chicken nuggets mm. oh they're so juicy the last time i had wendy's spicy chicken nuggets i did not like them that's why i just got the regular chicken nuggets but I guess it would have made more sense to get the spicy since all this food, all this food is supposed to be spicy. <laughs> Flavors are really good of everything. I would definitely say, get these fries. Flavor is so tasty. Those actually really make me want a frosty. Their strawberry frosty is back, so I kind of wish I would have got the strawberry frosty, but I was getting the lemonade and I didn't need two sweet drinks slash treat items, but um, I did try their strawberry frosty last year. Was it last year? I think it was, yeah. I don't think it was. Yeah, at this point it had to have been quite a while ago now, but their strawberry frosty was really good whenever I had it. Okay, now let's try this chicken sandwich that they claim is so spicy, and if you can't handle spice, don't get it. That's that's what they're saying. But we shall see. It's a really hot, like temperature wise sandwich, so <laughs> I can't quite tell if it's actually hot or not because 
that patty is very fresh and hot. Hmm, let me take another bite. Hmm, okay. It definitely has a kick to it. It's a bit spicier than your normal spicy chicken sandwich, I would say for sure. I also got the spicy chicken patty, which would probably make it even spicier. You know, whenever I did the Diablo Dare sandwich from Arby's, I did not find it that spicy. Granted, I do think my spice tolerance was higher back then as opposed to now. Because I don't eat spicy as often anymore. I went through this period where I was obsessed with spicy foods. But now I just don't, I just don't eat it as often. So I do think my spice tolerance has come down a little bit. So this does feel a bit spicier than the Diablo Dare but not to the point where you can't eat it. I would give it maybe a 6.5 to a 7 out of spice level. It definitely packs some heat. I do like the flavor. The flavor is very good. Would I personally order it again? Probably not. But if you want a pretty hot chicken sandwich, that's, that's definitely up there in the heat. <laughs> My mouth is feeling the heat for sure. I actually think I like the fries more than the chicken sandwich. But with that being said... <laughs> I have realized I am such a burger girl now. Back in the day, I would have said, oh, I prefer a chicken sandwich over a burger. But now, oh my gosh, give me a good juicy cheeseburger, like a Burger King Whopper. I am here for it. I don't know what it is, but I'm just always craving a cheeseburger now. So I'm not one to really go for chicken sandwiches anymore. But yeah, if you like a good spicy chicken sandwich, give it a try what do we think about this outfit i'm rocking the silver jewelry i don't know what it is but here lately i've just been obsessed with silver jewelry i just don't have any silver jewelry so i have some but not much i have way more gold jewelry so i've been on the hunt for some silver jewelry but I'm like I don't know how much money I want to spend on it because I wear gold a lot more but I got this necklace stack from Amazon I will link it in my Amazon storefront if you guys are interested in checking it out it was super affordable I also got some silver bracelets on as well as some silver rings so we're rocking like a silver rock star kind of look today and then I put this black corset over this mock neck tank from Skims. What do we think? I'm really pale right now, which is why I did that. Otherwise, I would have just wore the corset top on its own. But I need to put some self-tanner on because I'm, I'm pretty pale right now. I need to get out into the sun and get some actual, like, real tan on my skin. <laughs> but yeah, I don't love my chest whenever I'm really pale. So that's why I paired these two together. I don't know. What do we think? Is it a look or is it not a look? I do love this corset top, though, from H&M. I have a huge H&M try-on haul coming. You guys have to watch it because... I got so many good pieces from H&M. They have such good stuff right now for summer. So if you guys are looking to do some summer clothing shopping, you need to watch that video. These corset tops are really, really good. I freaking love them right now. And I'll tell you what else I've been loving. I wanted to ask you guys about this guy to see if you've heard of him, but his name is Theo Vaughn. So he's actually a comedian, but he does a lot of podcasting now. I have been 
watching his podcast like crazy. He's so funny. But he's also Southern and I'm Southern. I'm from North Carolina. So it's kind of nice watching someone who <laughs> is also Southern and he's super funny. He has a lot of good guests on his podcast. And I think he also has a few specials on Netflix, like stand up comedy specials. I need to watch those. But yeah, Theo Vaughn, if you haven't heard of him, look him up. You've probably at least seen him somewhere on YouTube. Unless you just don't watch anything, like, comedic on YouTube, but... <laughs> He's hilarious. For those of you who love Morgan Wallen, like me, he has a podcast with Morgan Wallen that's really good. He also has podcasts with two of the Impractical Jokers, if you guys have ever seen Impractical Jokers. One of them is with Joe Gatto, the other is Sal Volcano, and they're both really funny. I love the Impractical Joker, so that was totally up my alley. <laughs> But yeah, I've been really enjoying watching just really funny things because, <laughs> I don't know, it feels like sometimes on social media or just, I mean, this has always been a thing, even with the media and the news, there's just so much negativity out there and people are so obsessed with drama and like villainizing people. It just gets really exhausting to constantly see and read about. So, I've just been, you know, watching people that make me laugh and I, <laughs> I enjoy that. In the world that we live in, we just need to give more credit to the funny people, you know, cause they are really doing God's work. <laughs> they are doing God's work by making us laugh and taking our minds off of all the craziness going on. Which I don't love when people say how like bad our world is now. Our world has always been crazy. Like think about it. Have you taken a history class? <laughs> like the world has always been full of war and craziness, people fighting not getting along, people divided, like that's always been a thing. I would say now is one of the best times to be alive. Especially living in a world where Marvel exists. <laughs> Gabe and I saw Guardians of the Galaxy last night. Oh my gosh, so good. I've actually been waiting for volume three to come out. I would say for a good two, three years now. When did I first watch Guardians of the Galaxy? It might have even been longer than that, but I remember a few years ago, I looked up like, when is the next Guardians of the Galaxy movie coming out? And it was like, oh, it's not coming out till 2023. And at the time, 2023 felt so far away. But now it's here. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is out. And if you have not seen it, you need to go. I mean, it just came out. So, <laughs> but yeah, go watch it. If you like Marvel, but you haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy in general, you need to go watch it. Guardians of the Galaxy is so good. I got Gabe to watch it because he hadn't seen it before, but he does love Marvel, so I made him watch the movies. And he loves Groot. He even has a little pop figure of Groot now because, I mean, everyone falls in love with Groot. He's the cutest. But the third movie is about Rocket's backstory. So good. I cried so much. Like, it was embarrassing. <laughs> Oh, 
because the theater was pretty packed and I'm just in there sniffling away I don't know why I always cry during movies but these movies just have all these tear jerking scenes in it and I'm just like I'm so emotional I can't keep it in it's really good though Okay, well, I think that's it for this video, you guys. I'm pretty full. I would say definitely try the fries 100%. If you don't care for spicy chicken sandwiches, skip the sandwich. It's, I mean, it's good. It's tasty, but it's not really anything new and innovative, you know? Uh, I don't know. But I love you guys so much. Please drop a thumbs up down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.